Hey yo, what is good YouTube? It's your boy OG Mason and I'm coming back at y'all with another haircut tutorial. So in this haircut tutorial, I'm gonna be doing a a bald fade, kinda like a high top fade, and I'm gonna be shaping the hair, you know, all that good stuff. So right now I'm just doing putting in that ball line, just going around the head, using a uh and this cordless T outliners. And these clippers are really a hit or miss. If you don't if you don't set them right, then they don't they don't cut right. But right now they're cutting real nice. You see, I'm just going down on the head and it's cutting it right there. It's cause the hair is clean. You know. If you don't have time in the shop to advise your your clients just to wash your hair before it, then you should add it as a service. And right here I'm doing the Oster fast feeds lever all the way open and I have the ceramic blade on them and they cut real nice with the ceramic blade but uh I'm just doing all the way open going up going up an inch <laughs> so right now I'm just shaping the hair isn't really much there's a lot to it I ain't gonna lie say it's not a not that much to it if you don't if you don't shave it right it will show and if you have a mirror I highly suggest you use a mirror because I had to come back at least twice to make sure the hair was even after even after I shaped it up I had to stop and I was almost done to cut I had to stop pick the hair back out and redo the whole cut I mean like just shape it again because it wasn't even so it's real hard it's really hard like when you see afros and stuff like that that stuff like freehand work is kind of is very difficult well for me at least because you got you have to know exactly how the hair what the end product is while you're working on the hair because you just don't want to be cutting for nothing <laughs> so right now i'm just you know just going up And when freehanding, you really have to understand the shape of your client's head because you just don't want to, like, you know what I'm saying, just cut the hair to a shape that you think is nice, but then you don't look at the client's head and it, the shape doesn't look right. So me freehanding took that at least took about 15 minutes. Because that stuff right there, that takes a lot of work, man. It's a lot of going back to checking, a lot of picking. It's a lot. I say if you have, if you don't have the time, just just run a guard through it. Just put that, put the biggest guard you have, and just keep moving down. Show the client see if they like that length, and then after that, you could just do like a little spot checking and just get that little stuff that you see. So as for me, as being a barber, I have uh, y'all been seeing in my stuff and my and my YouTube lately. I have moved into a shop. Uh, I, I had got my finished barber school, got my license. I honestly do wish that I recorded and and kept track of more more stuff like that. But you know, during the time I wasn't really focused on that. I was really just focused on getting in and out. I wasn't trying to like. I made relationships with people, you know, with some good people, and I'm still having those relationships today. If we know if you know you know we hit each other up make sure we're doing good in our shops but as for like kind of like just taking down everything that i did in barber school i really didn't i really didn't like make sure to take account for it. as you can see on this right side it's a little uneven and that's where you gotta look in your mirror at because if you're not looking in your mirror then you just cut it and you're gonna be cutting for a long time so that's one thing I had stru tr struggles with is looking in that mirror because when I first started I didn't have a mirror. You know what I'm saying? Like just like a lot of people you just cutting on, you just cutting in your basement. You know, ain't no mirror in your basement. So having that mirror in the shop, you can actually see. You know? So as you can see, it looks even. It looks uneven on the top. I added some product and I and I. Uh, and I used the sponge, but used like the racket sponge on it, and I used the sponge too. But um, 
this is just my fading technique. I like to start off with, I like to work down on the guards. Start off with a number two, and I just did it all the way close because I want to shape it really. I really want to shape the fade. So that's just a number two, and I'm going all the way up. I actually have been learning a whole lot of fading techniques that's that are very useful like I, I can do probably about three different techniques of fading you know what I'm saying from clip over comb doing a whole haircut with a comb I actually know how to do that um to to working down with the guard system you know or working up on the guard system it's a lot of it's a lot of ways that you have to use for different types of hair with his hair, with his hair, it's easier to work down. See, I went from that two to that one and a half, and then now I got that one open. <laughs> and whatever you, you know, what I'm saying like, you also want to go down with the hair, with the guard to smooth it out. <laughs> and I'm, I'm currently not a full-time barber. I'm actually a part-time barber. My days are. I only really work four days a week. I'm still a college student, so I'm trying to get that degree also. So yeah, if I'm like, if I'm real and consistent on YouTube, that's the reason why I'm right there. It's just a lot going on. But yeah, now I went. Now I went to that number one closed. Man, it's already taking out that line. Now I went in with that zero guard, that 116th wall guard, and I went halfway close. And then I'm gonna kind of work my way down all the way close. But the difference between the wall system and the ander system is that the, the wall zero guard, it cuts a lot closer than a regular zero guard. And sometimes, depending on what you put that number one line in with, that first guideline, you can't close that blade all the way because it'd be cutting closer than that. So I leave it halfway since I used the Oscar fast feed on putting that initial guideline there. And you can see the fade is already there. It's just working on taking that bottom line out after that. And honestly, if you fade like this, this is this is probably about eight minutes on a fade. You know what I'm saying? And then you gotta make sure that your clippers are set right to take that bottom line out. Cause you see you saw y'all saw I put a harsh line there. I didn't turn the clipper around and go up. I, I went straight in with the clipper. And another reason why I like the fast feeds is because it, the fast feeds have such of a such of a long blade to it. You know, it's kind of like the Anders Masters is a little shorter than the Anders Master, but it definitely still gives you that you know that that look you're looking for. As you can see, I just did that raking down technique that really works with, with taking that line that's in between of that long hair and going to the short hair. So that's the technique I like to use. Also, shout out to AB with the keys for this beats, for these beats. If y'all don't already follow him, go follow him on Instagram. So if you type in AB with the keys, you'll see him. I actually don't know his Instagram by heart. But yeah, you know what I'm saying the fade, the fade is there, man. The fade is is there. I don't think I have ever posted a video with my man Kamari, but I do post a lot of Instagram pictures of him. And I recently did a promo video on my Instagram. Make sure y'all check me out on Instagram at Meso Cuts. And I'm telling y'all, man, you you could just see on my Instagram. You can scroll all the way down to the bottom. You can see some crazy growth. Like some crazy growth. I've been working a lot, learning a whole lot of new techniques. I work with a lot of great barbers. Like honestly, like a lot of barbers I cut with, they the type of barbers that don't have Instagram. You know what I'm saying? They don't do no social media. Their work speaks for itself. You know what I'm saying? Like they don't have to go on and talk about, oh yeah, I'm in the shop today. Nah. As soon as they get in, people are already there for them. You know what I'm saying? And they and 
they and they cut all day, man. They cut all day. And honestly, I'm blessed to be in a good location like the one I am in. I am in DC and I'm able to cut. If you know DC, I'm downtown. So I, I have a it's pretty good clientele over there. And I learned a whole lot of techniques, man. So right now I'm just gonna spray them with the spritz. I actually stopped using spritz. This is an old video. Because I want I want the if you use things like spritz, once you go home take that shower, you're not gonna they still not gonna have that real sharp line. You know what I'm saying? Once they go home wash their hair, the sharp line still isn't gonna be there like that. So I've been I've been using a technique which is using shaving cream and a hot towel. And that really cleans the skin, like of all them oils and all that. It's a game changer, man. It's a, it's a. If you want that ash line, like that real ash line that you can wipe and it's still there, that's the one right there, man. You know, a lot of times on Instagram, I even done it myself a couple times, but a lot of the barbers they're posting pictures with this ash line, but you could, you can really tell the difference between. A spritz line and an ash line. So I really, you know, really been working on getting that real line. Just just giving that whole natural cut. And then, then you can add your enhancements to it. So with the hairline right now, all I'm doing is I'm going there. And I like I like to go, he's, I'm on his left. So I like, I like to go from middle to left and then from the middle to the right. And I really like to match corners. Sorry if I'm going to be in the way a little bit. You know what I'm saying? That's just how it happens. Cause you got to record and work on a timely fashion. So, yeah. and these babyless tremors, man. The babyless tremors are really good. Man. No lie. So you never really gonna get that line on the first try, so you always gotta go back and, and top and get that line straight, you know. Make sure you use that mirror, man. That mirror will tell you something different. Your eyes, your eyes always can't stay in line with this with a straight line because you a lot of people can't draw a straight line. And I personally can't just draw like a straight line. So you gotta make sure you use your mirror and just and use that as like a guideline and just see to see, you know, see what you're doing. As you can see, the shape of it, it's, it's all right right now. But, you know, as as I keep going, I'm going to try to perfect it to the best of my abilities. Make sure that it's just sharp, you know. Look, if you can see the, the fade right now, it's off on the right side. I mean, the hair. I didn't see. That's why you really have to use that mirror because it's off on the right side. But I'm going to go back in. You're going to see I'm going to go back in, pick it all out, pick that side out, and just cut it down. Cause it, it was off So yeah I'm using that magic pencil That uh, barber magic pencil If you go to a, a culture shop And you see a lot of like You see a lot of like white lines and shop lines That's what that is They're using that magic pencil Don't get me wrong, they use that other shops too, but the magic pencil really, really pops on like on that on brown skin. You know what I'm saying? Like it really pops. If you put it on somebody with straight hair, depending on the, the texture of their hair and the color of their skin, it's really not gonna work. Cause the cause the pencil itself is is kind of like a a tannish white. Yeah, so you see I picked it out and I had to cut it down because that joint, it was just not even. It was not even. It was not even at all. So it looks a little better. After after it all, I actually went back and, and, and actually got it even. That's the thing with free hands, man. You really, you really gotta check, man. If you don't check, it's gonna show itself. But see, that line up sharp. I didn't have to add enhancements, but I added enhancements because I really wanted that line to just pop. 
you know what I'm saying? Like, whenever I have somebody in the chair, I always want to make sure that they, whenever they leave, they're automatically picture ready. So that's what I did. So now, I'm just going back in. So I'm trying to plug up my computer. So this don't die when I'm recording. Man, y'all can see that fade, man. That fade is there. And I really didn't try to, I didn't really didn't want to even speed up the video because this is a good like this is quality work right here. But I just wanted to show, you know what I'm saying, like that if you look on Insta, I mean if you look on YouTube, it's a lot of videos that's 10 minutes. But for real, for real, if you're really looking for that quality and that, that good education, it's a guy on YouTube named Barber Illuminati. And that's good. He's a really good barber for barber students you know what i'm saying like he shows you how to use them detachables and that's all he uses and he barely even like does like he does no work with adjustables and that's what you need for them practical exams because they show you and they tell you, you can't use nothing else but detachables on on the uh on the curly hair clamp so it's important that when you're on YouTube, we're not just caught up on with these fancy clippers and all the stuff that looks nice. Because it is nice. Don't don't get me wrong. It does help the haircut with these fan with the fancy clippers. You know, like it helps a lot. But but if you if you don't have the fundamentals of barbering, you can't be a great barber. You gotta have the fundamentals. So that's why I don't, I don't like when I'm posting now, I really don't care for how long the video is. Cause if you really want good quality and you, then you're going to stay to the end, you know, like Bob Illuminati, he posts his videos. That's about 40 minutes long and he shows the whole entire haircut, you know, and that's quality. Like, like Chris Bossio, he just posted a video that was 18 minutes long. Like that's great. You know, that's 18 minutes of gems that you get him. So if you're in a rush or something, you know what I'm saying? Like just go watch the quick videos. But if you really want to get into depth, that's what you should do. So I appreciate y'all for watching. Make sure you subscribe, like, and comment. It's your boy OG Meso, and I'm out.